And good afternoon, everybody. This is Drew from Villa Blind and Shutter, and we're here at the job of the week in the city of Norco, uh, just north of uh, Corona. Uh, we're at this pretty house here, and uh, we're going to look at inside and look at some shutters. How about that for some pretty horse art here in the front? So we're going to go in here. We're going to take a look around. And we're in a beautiful day in the start of spring. Here's the shutters from the outside. As we come into this beautiful remodeled home, we're going to show you some pretty artwork in the Norco style. But first, let's talk to you about the shutter. So here's an LR in the front of the house. And you can see what the beautiful thing here is that we can do a Z-Crest screen with the onyx wood shutter. With a 70-inch wide window, we can do a two-panel. And what I really like is on these single panels at 35 inches, if you do a hybrid, you have to put two panels on those, but the wood works out a lot better if you read our articles on the, the choices with wood. Here's a pretty shutter and a colored glass window on the top. And we're going to take you back where there's a nice little horse art here. And we're going to go back in the back of the house. And I really want to show you a split hidden tilt. Oh, look at those nice bullhorns there. I have some of those in my house. I love them. But this shutter is showing you a split hidden tilt. So we have no tilt bar. And you can close the bottom and the top separately. It's great for light control and a single panel is a much better way to go. On the back window here, you can see that this is a four panel. And what we've been recommending lately is using a T-post. So this has a T-post so that every panel can be opened separately. So that's a nice way to do a 94 inch wide window. Well, that's it from Villa Blind and Shutter today. We're in Norco. And in the middle of April, have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.